Because I think it's cute. So. <laughs> oh, it's in the air, you guys. Serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. She knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day butterflies survive the wheel, even though she got knocked down and never showed. Hey y'all, welcome back to a new video. Um, so today, I'm actually starting the vlog off on Friday, which I haven't done that in a long time. I haven't filmed like a weekend vlog, so I thought I'd pick up the camera, go ahead and like do my little intro. Um, I actually have a huge Walmart grocery order coming in about like 20 minutes. We are out of food, so I'm waiting on that order to get here so I can put all the groceries away. Um, and I figure I'll share a haul with you guys, and at some point this weekend, we're going to be tackling this yard. We're going to be taking down our pool and hopefully moving a lot of this like landscape that I have right here to the, like the fence line. So we'll see. Got a lot to do. But um, fall is in the air, you guys. It feels so, so nice. It's like breezy and um, like not humid at all. And if it's anytime it's not humid, it feels so nice here. So. I'm excited about the cooler weather. <laughs> I love fall, it's my favorite. Even though this is just like short-lived, we already know next week it's gonna be 100 degrees again. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day so far. What are y'all up to? Let me know in the comments. Um, actually, while I'm thinking about it, while we're talking, let's go switch over some laundry because, ooh, all the lizards. I, um, I've been trying to, ooh, you can't see me. I've been trying to stay on top of doing all the laundry and by the way I brought this bookcase out here because I have nowhere to put it in the house I'm kind of bummed but it just um it doesn't really fit anywhere so I'm gonna like restyle this space what is on my shirt hopefully find a way to like utilize it in here maybe with some like cute stuff I'm trying to save it you guys or I just need to to sell it I don't know I don't want to though because I love it <laughs> I'm a hoarder I really am it's crazy but I do I like to hold on to things I don't like switching up the laundry this is the worst part this is a massive load too I did like a huge wash because I just wanted to like knock out two loads in one and this wash machine is the bomb.com you guys we bought this from Lowe's because if you remember our wash machine broke like the agitator thing like it just completely like fell off. This is a a GE. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna oh um there's like a model number right here. If anybody needs the model number, just check the description box. I'll try to remember to add it. This is like hands down the best washing machine I've ever owned. And we've had fancy ones, we've had basic ones. This one has like the agitator, but you know what I love about this one? You can turn it on and have the lid open at the same time. Like a lot of wash machines, you can't do that anymore. Like they have like safety on them, which I, I get it. But I mean, I like sometimes to like add water to like the cup and like, you know, do like one of these numbers to like use all the, <laughs> all the laundry soap. So I like whenever you can open the lid and see it fill up. I, I've never like let it continue to do that. I don't know if it has like a shut off at some point, but I like I can turn it on right now and it'll start and I can have the lid open to like fill up my cup or whatever. And sometimes I'll I'll open it and I'll take like a a hand towel or something and I'll use the water and I'll like clean out here and then like toss it in the wash. Anyway, I know it's kind of random, but just thought I would share that I love my wash machine. <laughs> so <clears throat> Dylan's actually in the bedroom taking a nap. <laughs> Kind of, but I'm just cleaning up. I'm gonna talk to you guys like while I clean up. Um, but he's taking a nap where I would show you, but I just posted my bedroom refresh that I did and it turned out really pretty. It's like very like fall looking. Like I said in the video, it really was not intentional to do that, but it turned out nice. I really like it. I can't wait to decorate the house for fall. Um, 
that's like my favorite time of the year, so I can't wait for that. Look at this. The kids ate all of the pizza, but took all the pepperoni off. <laughs> Little stinkers. Um, I have a mess to clean up. It's not really, it's not too bad, but I have laundry to do, and you look so cute. You're over here, like, no. Oh, you accept it. Accept the cuddles. Oh my, oh my gosh. Why are you so moody to your mother? I love you a lot. I'm just trying to love on you. Can I have some nubbin? The kids um, have their friend over, so they're jamming out in the... Uh, hey, I love you. Is that tail wagon? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. On a side note, um, I put this plant right here just for the heck of it, because I had it in my bedroom, but then it wasn't getting enough sunlight, so I put it right here. It's thriving. <laughs> she looks so good. I love it. I need to like replant it. I still have it in its original plant, but or pot, but it looks so luscious. I actually want to take some clippings from it and add it to the other plant that I have, because it's lacking. And um, I love the way it looks right here. I want to share this with you. So I'm just hanging out on board. I'm waiting on the grocery order to get here. And I wanted to show you. So I did my hair back. When, when, when was this video posted? I think this was like two years ago. I don't remember. It doesn't say. Right at the I have to look. Um, 2020. Oh, that was three years ago. Oh my gosh. I've aged a lot. <laughs> oh man. Um, not really. Honestly, this when i used to film with my phone it naturally has like a blur effect so please don't ever compare yourself to people you see on online because a lot of like our phones and stuff they naturally blur your skin like even without you trying but anyway that's not the point point is i miss my hair being this color it didn't last long by the way it like I feel like red or any type of like burgundy color washes out really quick, especially since my hair is so oily. Like it's already oily and I just washed it this morning. Oh, look how pretty. But look at my skin in this video. Like, <laughs> what the heck am I talking about? I'm getting like secondhand embarrassment. Anyway, okay. I do like the um I'm, I'm getting text messages. And I honestly forgot how much I liked it. I love it though. Look how pretty that was a horrible I make the weirdest faces. If you like pause this video right now, I'm gonna be like <laughs> it's fine. Um <laughs> but I love this color. I really want it back. But it ruined my hair going that light. Actually, as a matter of fact, before I went that light, did y'all see what it looked like before? <clears throat> hold on <laughs> oh man I remember I went and got my hair done and I tried to go blonde and this is what I ended up with oh it was so bad did it focus focus look at me <laughs> oh man I was like my coffer stage um yeah the blonde was not for me but I like the red I, I kind of miss it I don't know. My hair's so dark right now. It actually has faded a lot. You can, well, it's hard to tell it in this lighting, but outside it like looks more brown. It was like super jet black, but you can see it's kind of, kind of fading a little bit to that reddish brown. My hair naturally turns red, like always. No matter how black I dye it, it turns like a brownish <clears throat> red when it fades. Oh. Oh gosh, I'm sitting here filming and the grocery water guys are here and the windows are open. Oh my gosh. I'm coming out to check it out. <sighs> Look at her face. She's such a protector. I always forget to shut my blinds before they get here. Not that they can really see it. You can't always see in the house unless you like to get up to the window. And I'm telling you right now, if I see someone peeking in my window like that, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> and the dogs are going to eat somebody. Don't bark. Daddy's sleeping. She's like, wait, open that up so I can see. I'll leave it cracked. Oh, she's watching. You watching him? 
is watching him. What is him doing? <laughs> what? Hey, nosy neighbor. You take off after one of them cats. I'm going to have to chase you down. <laughs> I'm going to be mad. You better not. You stay. Do y'all see this? What are you doing? She eats her whiskers off. Okay, so here's all the groceries I ended up getting. So starting over here, um, we got some Milo or Milo. Is it Milo or Milo? I have no clue, but sweet tea. We got some milk here, coffee creamer, and then I got some whipped cream, and this is just for like a little treat tonight. I also got some fudge rounds, coffee, and then back here we have some juices for the kids. That was just like a little treat. Um, we got some spring mix. I, this is like my go-to for salads, um, for like lunch or for dinner sometimes, so love that. We got some straws, a big old thing of sour cream, Lots of different Lunchables. Um, these are just quick, easy, honestly, snacks. My kids love to eat these for snacks. My, my kids eat, y'all. And sometimes, like, all these little snack foods don't last very long. So these are, like, quick, easy, grab, go. <sighs> you know, you got to do what you got to do. So got those. I got some Black Forest ham and some roast beef. Um, a big thing, not a big thing, this is a regular size, but a regular size of sausage to make um, sausage burritos. And then that's what the tortillas are for. I've got some jalapeno slices because I'm making subs tonight. And I like jalapenos on mine. So I'm going to put those on my sub. we got buttermilk waffles back here. Blueberry. Um, some toaster strudels. This was Dylan's request this week. Every week I ask him, like, what's something that you want? And this week is toaster strudels. And I didn't know which kind to get him, so I got him one of each. Um, I got some orange juice, au jus gravy mix uh, for subs or for just like au jus sandwiches. Um, Swiss cheese for the sub sandwiches. A thing of cream cheese and bagels. A big old thing of chocolate chip cookie dough. If you've never tried this cookie dough, it is the best and you can eat it raw. That's my favorite part. <laughs> it literally says safe to eat raw and I sure do y'all. So I got me some cookie dough. I got two big ol' onions, lots of lemons here for lemon water, a thing of spaghetti noodles, um, English muffins to make Dylan some English muffins for breakfast, um, for his work, and just, you know, for over the weekend. I also got some Jimmy Dean French onion dip and chips back there. We're also going to be doing nachos for dinner one night, so I got a big thing of nacho chips or tortilla chips, not nacho chips. Um, I got my crispy red peppers. Those go in my salad. A cucumber here um, shredded lettuce for our subs this is the sub bread for tonight um, and then I also got a loaf of regular bread taco kit ice cream more ice cream fruit loops those are always Dylan's favorite and then I got myself some big waters just to grab and go and uncrustables and ranch and then over here we have all of the meats and then a case of dr. peppers for Dylan so we got Chicken tenderloins, um, chicken thighs, pork steaks. Then I splurged and got us a good steak for this weekend. And then we got three pounds of ground beef, the Canadian bacon for the uh, English muffins. And then we got some bacon here and that's all. So that is my, oh, and then my case of waters that I didn't drag over here, but lots of stuff. So now I gotta put it away. All right, so I put all the food away and then it was time to make dinner, so I started making sub sandwiches. I filmed like a little bit of this, but I ended up having to cut out a lot of the footage because the kids had their friend over and they were like all around the kitchen island, so I ended up not being able to share, but I just made sub sandwiches for dinner. And by the way, I will have our meal plan listed down below in case you need some like random dinner ideas. The next morning I woke up at like 10.30, Dylan and the kids let me sleep in. And I walked out, well, when you walk out of my bedroom door, you can see out back. And as soon as I turned the corner, I was shocked. My husband was up and he had the entire shed emptied out. Like he had been cleaning it since like early. And um, I walk out there and I'm trying to like help, but I was like still kind of tired. I hadn't even had my coffee yet. And I kind of felt like I was more in the way than I was helping. And I kept trying to save everything. 
<laughs> and he he was just doing so good. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go inside and I'll focus on cleaning up because my mother-in-law was coming over for um, dinner and she's bringing my niece over to hang out too. And I don't know if y'all are like this too, which I'm sure most of you are, but if we have anybody coming to our house, whether it's just to like stop by or like dinner, you best believe I'm cleaning this house like a mad woman, especially if you give me a heads up. If you tell me you're coming, this house is about to look like no one lives here. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's like mental. It's crazy. I As soon as someone says that they're coming over, I'm like, Oh no, I got them off the floor. I got a vacuum. I got to dust the blinds that I haven't dusted in a year. I, I literally start panic cleaning. I, it's just, I, I don't know. It's horrible. <laughs> um, and then what's funny is while they were here, my niece and my uh, mother-in-law, the whole house got destroyed. <laughs> the kids were running around playing. So honestly, all the cleaning I did was for absolutely nothing. And she could care less. She's literally the most laid back person ever. But I don't know. It's just funny. I ended up cleaning up the whole house and then Dylan finished up cleaning up the shed and then I helped him kind of carry everything to our trailer that was for the dump and then we put a lot of stuff by the road. Hey y'all. So it is a new day. Um, yesterday we actually spent all day long cleaning up the yard. Um, we got rid of so much stuff. A ton of it went by the road and a lot of people already picked up almost everything. And we got rid of like chairs and just all kinds of stuff we've just accumulated that we've held on to thinking, okay, we're going to use it and never did. So we did a massive declutter yesterday. Um, and as a matter of fact, I actually slept in and Dylan woke up early and already had a lot of it done before I even woke up. So that was awesome. That's why I didn't film much of that. But today we are actually going on a little shopping trip just to get out of the house, do some window shopping, um, take a look at some fall decor, maybe get some inspiration. And um, yeah, we're going to have a great day. It's just my daughter and I, so we're having a girl's, di or girl's day. Woo! <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go and have some fun and just take a peek at some, some things. Okay, so we just arrived at TJ Maxx. We're gonna go in here first, and then we'll also check out Dollar Tree. I wanna look at the floral stems that Dollar Tree has, because I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a long time. The one on our side of town is just really messy, and they never have anything, so I figured we'll check out this one since we're over here. Smears, $40. So pretty. This is only 30. Only 30. We can paint that ourselves, baby. I can barely paint that. <laughs> we can. Oh, look at that painting. That one's cute. $30 for that one. I'm looking for like a big bowl for on the, um, yeah, like on the kitchen island. It's a screen mask. <laughs> Why is this not focusing? There it goes. Ooh, this one's fancy. Fancy, fancy. So pretty. Pumpkin on the front. <laughs> Pumpkin that everything. This is cute. That looks fancy. It's like fancy. Ooh. That's from the um. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Pocus. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's not cute. It's kind of spooky, but. Oh, there's like a whole little set. Oh, look at this one. With the hand. Oh my god, no. I like it. What do you mean, no? Maybe. Maybe. Not so much orange. Oh. How much is that one? $24.99. 24 See, I like that one. $16.99. Oh, that one's pretty. I've had one like that before. That one kind of looks like it could be for fall and transition into spring. $24.99. Not too bad. Um, we could put it in the cart. Well, I'll think about it. Uh, only it's, six. It's six dollars, yeah. So, get it. It'll go perfect in my room. <laughs> it sure will. It's, like a, it's a bird. Yeah, no eyes. <laughs> Look at the little elephant. How stinking cute is that? You see the elephant? Oh, that is cute. I could clean it. Oh, do y'all remember the turkey? Do you remember my turkey that I have? I have one just like that. Turkey. 
Ooh, look at these candlesticks. <gasps> these are pretty. Where? Right here. No, you're fine. I love these. How much are these? Oh, $16.99. That's not bad. It's not I bad at say, all. This is $50. I was about to say, this is $60 for an apple. No, there's no way. This one is so pretty. Look at this. It's a table runner. I love that. Love that. Love that. These are pretty this year. I like this I like color. I like that color. It's kind of like a maroon. I want to go. And it's I know I do too. I'm going to get some of these though. Okay, so we are now at Big Lots. Hobby Lobby's closed because it's Sunday and I totally forgot. So we're just going to uh, check out Big Lots real quick and then possibly run into Party City to look at costumes for my daughter. We actually found a costume for my son at TJ Maxx. It's super cute. I'll show you guys when we get home. Um, but it's like a SWAT team costume. It's really cute. They are huge, huh? Let's go this way. Big Lots has some cute stuff. Uh oh. Oh, I love the elephant. How cute is he? I love that. Twenty percent off. Okay. the look of that. Oh, this one's nice too. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, look at all the comforter sets. Oh, this one's so pretty. I like the little pin, the little pin detail for $39. You can't beat that. Oh, look at the pink one down here. That looks kind of similar to the one you have, 49. Oh, that one's cute too. I love all of them. <laughs> this color is pretty. I like that red. The red, ooh. It's a ruby red. Oh, look at the yellow one. Oh, ooh, and the stripes. Oh, that's a quilt. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, look at this. Mom, you're going crazy. I know. Ooh, feel it. It's nice. Oh, this is very pretty. Dang, it's super fancy for six thirty-nine. I feel like this can be. It's honestly not too bad. That's really pretty, isn't it? Uh huh. Oh, this one's pretty too. Looks real. They, I know they do look real. But they're actually great. I wish we had a real chimney. You want a real chimney? Yeah. So we climb down the chimney. Look at that scary thing. I know. You see it? Yeah. Ooh. Dang. He does something. Oh, it must not be plugged in. <laughs> oh, they're not plugged in, baby. No. <laughs> Come on. This aisle. So pretty. I love the fall colors. They're my favorites. <laughs> Look at these wreaths. I wonder how much these are. 24. So they're like Ooh, this is Ooh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this. I have one. I bought a uh, green pumpkin. Do y'all remember last year? Do you remember that one? I like that wreath right there cuz it's like neutral and Oh, look at the little squirrels. He's cute. Get it. I have nowhere to put them, baby. We're just looking. We're just getting some inspiration today. I am not walking past that again, so don't even try. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> this one's really pretty. Oh wait. Oh, Fourteen ninety nine. I see it. Yeah. 
y'all i just filmed like an entire haul and literally did not hit record <laughs> you're talking away and then all of a sudden my camera just like turns off and i was like that's weird i never hit record so it just automatically shuts off <laughs> if you don't record it for a certain amount of time oops um so let's try this again first t-shirt we got from tj maxx was this one it says wild spirit just a cute little basic tee for my daughter it was 5.99 and then i found this little set for my son it came with a pair of little gym shorts and an Under Armour black tee. This was $16.99 for the two-piece set. Um, but these just, they last so long. I love this material of shirt. And black is always our go-to because it doesn't get stained up. So I got that. And then I also found my daughter this outfit. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? I love this. It's like this cute little dress. It's like, it's a whole dress, but it looks like a skirt and a, and a shirt. Um, it actually zips up in the back as well but she actually tried it on when she tried it on for me she wore it this way and it looks super cute um so you could actually wear it either way if you wanted to and then of course um it came with like a little leather jacket and this was $16.99 i feel like that's such a good price for the jacket and a little dress i thought it was adorable so we got that and then we did find my son his Halloween costume. They had a few of these out. I, I'm assuming it's from last year. They're putting out early. Um, but how adorable. <laughs> the little SWAT team. They had a police officer, a firefighter, astronaut. Um, and there was something else. Oh, an army. Like an army costume as well. But I think this is adorable. So he chose the SWAT team. I just sent my husband some pictures. And it came with a helmet and everything. And this was 24 $24.99. It's like such a great deal. And it came with all the little accessories. This is actually a real flashlight as well. Um, try to, there it goes. It's a real flashlight. And it has like a little oh, walkie talkie up here. Obviously it's pretend, but how cute. So he's going to be SWAT team for Halloween. And that's all the stuff that we got. So, oh, not my, oh wait, there's one more thing. Last thing was this cute little gold frame here it has like the pretty little rose detail at the front like how beautiful is this i feel like this is something she's gonna keep forever you know there's always like those things you get as a kid that you just hold on to this was 5.99 which i feel like is a great price but i cannot even begin to tell you how much it aggravates me when retail stores put the stickers on the glass <sighs> like you could have just put it on the back <laughs> why put it on the front it drives me crazy and what's crazy is like all the other things the stickers on the back but when you have a frame or a mirror they stick it right on the mirror or the glass of the frame and it just leaves like a sticky residue it's pain in the butt they do it to shoes too they put it on like the actual part where your foot sits on your shoe i wish that retail stores would see how annoying this is but I'm gonna go get changed up. I'm actually gonna go outside and start taking down our pool because I wanna get that done. And instead of like working out tonight, I figured I would that would be my workout, taking down that pool and like trying to clean up the yard a little bit more. We've been like on a roll with getting rid of stuff. This is annoying me. I'm gonna stop doing that. <sighs> Sticker. Put this in the sunroom. But anyway, we were on a roll with getting rid of stuff outside, so I wanna finish up the yard. Okay, so here is my little outfit of the day. I thought I would share just because I think it's cute. So <laughs> I'm getting uh, picked on. So <laughs> anyway, I, I thought I would share because I thought it was cute. And we were out shopping and I got dressed up. So here's my outfit of the day. I got this black top on from Walmart. It has like a lace detail. My necklace is from Amazon. My belt is from Shein. Jeans are from Bell's Outlet. These are my favorite. They're actually not a size. They are small, medium, or large because they're super stretchy. And I love that. So I ended up getting the small and I love the way that they fit. And then I just paired it with a basic pair of white tennis shoes. And that is what I wore out while we were shopping. 
Okay, so I had to leave that clip in there. I thought it was super funny. The kids were, like, mimicking the way that I moved and talked with my hands and stuff. It was adorable. They were being, they were trying to be funny. <laughs> and it was obviously cracking me up. So, yeah. And I don't get dressed up often. So when I do, I, like, want to show my outfit because I love seeing other people out, other people's outfit ideas. Um, like, as a stay-at-home mom, I want to be comfortable but still cute and stylish. But I'm not super fancy either. I'm a very basic jeans, cute top type of girl. So I don't know. I thought I would share. But anyway, I'm outside now and I took down the pool. If you didn't know, um, I'm giving this pool to my little brother and the pump and everything that goes with it just because I feel like they have more time to care for it and more patience than we do. Oh, that was my phone that just fell. But the good news is the phone did not break. Even though it fell face first <laughs> down onto the tile floor, thankfully it did not crack. Um, so I don't even know how this phone has survived my clumsiness. It slipped right off my lap, right to the ground. But um, I don't even remember what I was saying because that distracted me. Anyway, we're getting rid of the pool. They're going to take it. So I bagged it up and now I have a mess to clean here. So I needed to get all this plastic and tarp up. We double layered tarp, plastic, um, cardboard boxes, you name it, we laid it down to keep the grass from growing and it worked this year, surprisingly, um, because every other year the grass would grow straight through the tarps and the plastic we'd lay down, but we really like double layered it this time. So I got all that moved and the next morning I woke up, gave my fur babies some lovin' and got busy again. The reason why I stopped working on it the night before was just because it got too dark and the mosquitoes came out. So this is kind of where I was at. Um, at this point, I needed to move the plants, replant those, and pull up the rest of the plastic, and also shovel and move a lot of the mulch that we, you know, laid out here. As you can see, the mulch did not last very long. A lot of you were totally right, by the way. I know I had a ton of you comment when we did this little landscaping area around the pool, which I don't regret, by the way. We enjoyed it while it lasted. But, um... I had a lot of you comment and saying like, that's never going to work. The grass is going to grow right through it. And boy, were you right. <laughs> you were totally right. I will admit it. Uh, we failed on this landscape um, situation, but it's okay. The good news is all the plants were thriving. So I just replanted them in different areas and yeah, cleaned all this up. And pretty soon the grass will start growing through. So right here, I'm actually utilizing the tarp and I'm shoveling a lot of the mulch onto the tarp and then I'm just dragging that tarp over to areas that need dirt or that need to be filled. There was like a couple like, you know, low areas in the yard, like along the fence line. I also did this just to kind of raise it up a bit where you can see, I don't know if y'all can see, but like straight ahead, there's a couple bricks along the bottom of the fence. So that's like a low part in our yard. So I actually took a lot of that mulch and extra dirt and just tossed it over to that area to kind of raise um, the ground a little bit.
As you can see, I was now up front just quickly weed eating and mowing up here as well. After getting that done, I went back out to the backyard to clean up the rest of the patio, wiping down this little table here and using my blower to blow off all the grass and leaves that kind of got sprayed up there from the mower. And thankfully the yard is done. Well, here I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple like overviews of the backyard and it is seriously a night and day difference. It's hard to tell just from like looking at it like this. I really wish I would have gotten a better before and after because what you couldn't see a lot of times on camera was that we had stuff piled up by the shed. Next to the shed, we had stuff piled up by the back gate that needed to be um, gotten rid of. We just never had the time to actually do that. So it was nice to spend a weekend taking care of things around the house. And it looks so much better. Um, obviously, the grass still has to grow in and all that good jazz. And we need to remulch these flower beds right here. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Hi, baby. My hands are full. Hi. Hi, Zoe. Yard work is done. I went and got a shower, and now I'm cooking up some sausage to make sausage burritos. Uh, I'm trying to get back on track again with healthy eating and working out. So I also had to cook up some eggs. For my sausage burritos, I do sausage, eggs, peppers and onions, and cheese. And if I have bacon, sometimes I'll add a little bit of bacon as well. It just depends. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get all this chopped up real quick. Check out that transition. Stop. <laughs> um, and I like to brown the onions and peppers really well. Um, and then I just kind of mix everything together. But while I was doing that, it was also some homework time. My son stayed home on this day, by the way, in case you were wondering why he was like in the backyard while I was mowing and stuff. It was because he had, we all were sick and then he got it last. And unfortunately, even though he was better, he lost his voice completely. Like he could hardly talk. So I decided to let him stay home that day just to let his voice rest. But we had some homework that was sent home with us. So we worked on that together. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna get these burritos made up. Class, good job. Class, good job, dude. So here I have all of the stuff mixed together and I just give it like a good stir so that way when I go to make the burritos, it's a lot easier to just scoop out one or two scoops for each little tortilla. Um, and I do use the carb balance tortillas just to, you know, be a little mindful of that. Um, and I do add cheese and bacon. I think I already mentioned that earlier though. So I'm just going to lay out a sheet of aluminum foil just to give me like a bigger prep space and start wrapping up some of these burritos. By the way, earlier I mentioned trying to get back on track with exercising as well. And in case you wanted like a, a fitness update. So I have not been as consistent as I was when I first started working out and I lost about 25 pounds. Um, I just, you know, life happens and it's okay. It, ha it is what it is. Um, I'm human. We go through things. Sometimes it's easier to get a workout in and sometimes I struggle to find the time. And um, that's kind of what happened. 
you know, with the summer being here and being home with the kids all day, last thing I wanted to do was end my evening with an exercise. I was wore out. So I decided to kind of just like take a break and just give myself some grace during that busy like season. And um, now that the kids are back in school, we're getting back on routine again. It's time for me to start doing a lot better. So that's what I'm going to do. Here's how my burrito looks. Um, and yeah, they're super delicious. You got to try them. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. Um, I busted tail this morning in the yard. Not just in the backyard either. I actually did the front yard as well. I didn't film all of it. I just filmed like a little bit when I was up there. But by the time I got up there, it was getting rough. I was hot. <laughs> and it was getting later in the day. So I ended up finishing that around like 11, 30, 12. Came in, made the breakfast burritos. I shared that with you guys. And then I actually had a therapy appointment. So I got that done. And it actually was really great appointment i feel like there was like a breakthrough i don't know I, I feel really good today so yeah um i showed you guys the yard already that's pretty much all i got for you today i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you guys in a couple days with a brand new video bye y'all